Question 22, 4,781 multiplied by 23. Now we're doing a four digit number multiplied by a two digit number, which basically means we're going to have to be doing long multiplication. Some teachers might call this the magic zero method. So what we're going to need is we're going to need some space for our working out. So let's draw some when you're going to need three lines for working out here. So let's work it out now. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply everything on the top row by the three. So we're going to go three ones, three eights, three sevens, three fours in that order. So three ones, three eights, three sevens, three fours. Here we go. Three ones are three. Three eights are 24. Put the four in, carry the two. Three sevens are 21. Plus the two is 23. Put the three in, carry the two. Three fours are 12. Plus the two is 14. Put the four in, carry the one. But because we've run out of columns, that one can just go straight in like that. Now, it's very important here to realise that we've already used these digits that we've carried. We will not need them again. So I'm just going to scribble those out because we don't need those again. We're not going to confuse ourselves by trying to use them again later on. OK, next job is we've done with the three. So now we need to deal with this two here. So we're going to times everything by two. So let's just rub out what we did there just to make it so it's not as confusing. So we've timed everything by the three. Now we're going to times everything by the two. So two ones, two eights two sevens and two fours. But wait a minute, this two doesn't mean two. It's in the tens column. Remember, this is the tens column and this is the units column. So we're actually dealing with 20. Two tens are 20. So because we're timesing by 20, we put the magic zero in and then we can times everything by two. Putting a magic zero in and then timesing everything by two has the same effect as timesing by 20. So here we go. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 8 is 16, put the 6 in, carry the 1, 2 7s are 14, plus the 1 is 15, put the 5 in, carry the 1, 2 4s are 8, plus the 1 is 9. Now don't forget, we've got some extra carry digits there, we've already used that we don't need again, so we'll just scribble out the 1 that we carried there, and the 1 that we carried there, and we don't need those again. Now remember, that what we did on the, top line written in blue we timed everything by three so that's three lots of 4781 and then the line written in yellow is 20 lots of 4781 now if we add those two lines together if we add the two lines together we will get 23 lots and basically 23 lots is what we're actually looking for so we just need to add the two lines together now so 3 plus 0 is 3, 4 plus 2 is 6, 3 plus 6 is 9, 4 plus 5 is 9, and 1 plus 9 is 10. Put the 0 in, carry the 1, but because we've run out of columns, that 1 can just go straight in. And our final answer is 109,963. If you can't read the number, remember you go 1, 2, 3, put a comma. So 109,963. So let's just zoom out to see our answer box. Because that is the number that now needs to get written inside our answer box. 109,963.